I've written a couple, I think three or four manuscripts as a single author. The, the first one I did right after my master's program, I wrote as a single author. I had advice from a, a valued mentor who said it's not a bad idea to show um, other folks that you're capable of doing independent work, independent research. I've written some other articles as solo. Um, one was a research article. Those tend to though be more group focused because almost always you have someone who's helping you actually implement the project or someone who's helping you with more advanced statistical analysis. But I, I wrote one on um, uh, human factors engineering and how you might incorporate that in the hospital setting. So again, it wasn't a research article, but it was based on some, some work that I had done in a hospital and I thought would be kind of a good template on how I could use these, these hardwiring factors uh, to reduce the chance of adverse outcomes. So that one, again, I was single author because it was just a conceptual idea that I had that I took from beginning to end. I think with some, with some of my single author papers, you know, such as, you know, my first paper that I did that was a result of coursework, where, which in that case really was work that I'd completed independently. I think there are advantages and disadvantages. I think more often when you work as a research team, the advantage is that you have lots of people to bounce ideas off. You're not the only one who's responsible for all of the writing and all of the implementation. And I think when you, especially for um, folks that work with students, PhD students or doctoral students or even um, undergrad or graduate, it's nice to include students if they carried us, had a role in that manuscript, whether it was that they helped collect the data or they helped with some of the preliminary analysis or whatever. So I think research projects tend to be more group focused, but I also think there's a place for individual authorship. You know what, if you want to see it through to completion, you know, identify someone who can help hold you accountable to doing that. Otherwise, it's very easy to have other things take the place of your writing time. So do you have someone who can, um, you know, maybe you want to develop an assignment that you're going to have to do as part of a course anyway, turn that into a paper. Well, use your faculty member as a resource. Chances are faculty are usually very delighted and, support, and supportive to see their students you know, move their work beyond just something that was turned in. As a single author, I know that it, it, I'm responsible for it. I don't have to wait for anybody else to get their work to me. Um, I mean, the benefit for that is that you're on your timeline and you, get, you can expedite things because it's important to you, it's a priority to you.